What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com and the Press Telegram. It's Mike, and this More League Boys Soccer video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company. Oh, you know what it is. It is about that time. It is the Long Beach Super Classico. We got it once again, and everything is on the table today. Milliken at Cabrillo. If Milliken wins, they clinch a share of their seventh straight More League title. If Cabrillo wins, they clinch their second ever More League title in any sport in the school's history. Jaguars writing checks, but unfortunately not cashing any. Got a lot of early chances throughout this game, actually. Evair Marin and goalie Eduardo Valdovino is just playing catch right there. Did not make much of those chances, as you see in the early going. Edgar Gonzalez is going to stick his nose in with Valdovinos right there. But uh, the Milliken goalie hanging tough. And this right here is the game for Cabrillo. Half the team is going to touch the ball on this run towards goal. Rivalry has gone this way. Cabrillo doing a good job with possession. Nice individual play right there from Jose Dominguez. But Marin, the connection just not there. And that was a game for Cabrillo. Moved the ball well, but couldn't get anything out of it. Here we've got Domingos. Dominguez is going to find Brian Villalobos. This is a play Cabrillo is still talking about after the game, still looking for a penalty kick call. As you see, the official says, no, 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 no. We're going to play on there. Certainly looked like that could have been a whistle. But Milliken, the general contractors, because they got your counter right here. Andres Salinas, he's stopped by Jimmy Barrera, but you see the cleanup by Miguel Alonso. Uh, that's what Milliken does. They say, you go ahead, do everything you want with the ball. As soon as we get it, we're going to run it straight back at you, and we are headed towards the net. Take another look. The stop, great stop, but the goal for Milliken is they go up 1-0. Fantastic crowd out the drum line, the cheerleaders. Everyone coming to see this game because everyone knew this was not just the great rivalry game that we've come to love, but the championship game. And uh, the Rams in the second half drawing a frustrated Cabrillo team into their game a little bit. The game got a bit physical. Milliken's usually going to win a contest like that. But here, the Jaguars draw a foul in dangerous territory, and they know they need to get something in the net, something threatening. Ruben Garcia, great service, but l take a look at that. How does that ball, I mean, it looks like it's harder to not touch it than to touch it. You can see, obviously, the frustration from the Cabrillo players. They knew, man, you know, a chance like that in a game like this with stakes like these, you got to put that thing away. More chances. Milliken adds an insurance goal to go up 2-0, which added to the desperation of Cabrillo. But as you can see, the Rams just turning them away once and time again. More pitch and catch between Marine and Valdivinos. Brendan Wurstein is subbing in right here and is told, whoa, 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 take your time. You don't win all these more league titles by hurrying in subs late in a 2-0 game. The counter, of course, always in full effect for the Rams. Michael Quinn right there, number 20, is going to take this thing away. He's going to chip it up to Jason Smith. And you just see how quick the Rams go from defense to offense. Even with that lead, they're going to run at you, put you in danger. And as the whistle blows, it's another more league title for the Milliken Rams. You'd think they'd get sick of winning this thing at this point. In 32 years, it's their 20th more league championship. And, of course, as we mentioned uh, at the beginning of the video, the seventh in a row for the Milliken Rams. And they do it in an impressive 2-0 shutout on the road against a very good Cabrillo team. So Milliken feeling good today. Obviously, the playoffs just around the corner. And you know we're going to have that thing covered top to bottom right here.